So, your friends have been sneaking into your base recently, huh? Taken all your items and left you penniless? Aw, oh, sub. I thought you had the base security hiding spots. Don't worry, perhaps you just need something a little bit more unexpected. In fact, what about 10 unexpected secret entrances you'll never find in Minecraft? We need to start thinking outside of the box. Subvert expectations. I'm sure you'll be able to create something that this Steve can't find. They better be good, though. As he looks, he's become quite the pro. Number 1. Spawn Block Base So we're trying to be unexpected. Let's start with the first part of any player's journey. Spawning. The spawn point of a lot of worlds is protected. But if you're lucky enough, you might be able to mine right underneath. Find a nearby tree to place your trigger. I'd suggest using something that blends in. As much as this is unexpected, players are going to be around this area a lot, especially when they die. Players that spawn will usually go straight forward or start bouncing in a random direction to get their bearings. The last thing they're going to assume is that you're hiding right below the very block they appeared on. I mean, who would be stupid enough to do that? <coughs> Number 2. Blocked Off Mineshaft There's so many caverns and cave systems in Minecraft that it can be hard to decide which one you want to explore. Some places branch off so much that it isn't worth investigating all of them. Build your own special cave base and seal it up. Use a stone pressure plate to camouflage the trigger and then block off the entire entrance to the cave with stone walls. Stone walls are good because they allow players to see through the empty cave and not be curious about what's on the other side, as they would be with full blocks. Place a sign explaining all the ores are gone and make sure to mine up any that are visible. With this in mind, if you spot a warning from another player or see a specific branch blocked off, it means that the cave has been explored, doesn't lead anywhere, or all the ores have been mined, meaning the last thing Steve here is going to do is investigate any farther. Number 3. The Lava Fall Walking about the caves, you find and mine ores, hope to collect some loot from random generations, and do your best to avoid lava whenever possible. As lava is so dangerous, players probably won't expect something hidden there. Find some lava flowing down from a ravine. Don't just create a base behind the lava, as players may be able to guess there's something on the other side. Instead, use a fire resistance potion and swim right to the top to create the entrance. Players aren't going to drink a potion and swim up lava falls if they can barely see through when submerged. Looks like you're safe and sound, Sub. Don't want to dive into a pool of lava? Why not dive into the pool of subscribers we have here on Sub's World instead? We've been doing so well recently, it's got Sub all excited. Number 4. Parkour Door there are plenty of mini-games and classic activities to try out in Minecraft, one of which is building your own parkour course. Parkour, of course, is the art of jumping across distances consecutively without stopping. Many players pride themselves on how quickly and flawlessly they can complete parkour courses, so this leaves you a perfectly unexpected area in between each jump. Create your own base, customize it, and add a piston doorway triggered by a camouflage button. Don't make the button too obvious, and make sure it's far enough from the entrance that you need to be hitting the button as you jump to reach the entrance in time before it closes. Harsh timings like this make for great secret entrances, as even if they figure them out, they still can't get in. Number 5. Water Sliding Hiding what other types of courses do players have fun running over and over again? Ah, I see you're making a water slide, Sub. That's awesome. I'm sure Steve has been waiting for ages to use one of these. Of course you have ulterior motives. Create a base under your slide and connect them with a small one-block tunnel. Use ladders to block the water from flooding anything, and invite Steve to come enjoy your water slide without any worries. With a wide enough water slide, it's more or less impossible to survey and spot every block for a potential exit. That, and the constant flow of water pushing against you can make the whole process really tedious. Number 6. The Abandoned Strip Mine 
When on a mining expedition, most players set up temporary mining bases as their own little checkpoint. This often serves as a base of operations while maneuvering through the systems. Of course, no one would assume this abandoned area would actually hold another base, hidden in plain sight and completely unexpected. Using pistons and a bit of redstone know-how, you can create a secret hatch beneath the crafting bench, allowing you to get down and access all your real Minecraft treasures. Number 7. Below the Bees this one's unexpected because players are still only just updating their games to the new 1.15 release. With that comes a whole new host of features, including bees. Because they're new and dangerous in numbers when hostile, players will still probably be trying to avoid them completely. So find a beehive above a tree and create your base underground, just below the hive itself. Some smarter players might want to investigate the beehives. If they do have a peek in curiosity, however, make sure your entrance is secured by some green carpet. They'll more than likely be far more interested in what the bees have to offer than the randomly placed carpet, even if they do see it. Hey sub, messing with honey again? You want a like from every single person who likes bees? I'm sure they'll be down with that. Number 8. Not really the end. Look! There's Steve again! He's starting to catch on to your weird and random ways, Sub. He knows to expect the unexpected, so let's get deeper. Going to the end should really help throw off his tracks. And what's more confusing than thinking you're at the end of the game when really you're not? See that bedrock portal that appears whenever the dragon is defeated? Why not dig below it, creating your own secret area completely hidden from the adventurers of this dimension? You see, once players kill the Ender Dragon, they'll soon enough rush in to get the XP and jump into the End Credits portal. They may even try to teleport to the End City, but one thing's for sure, they won't be looking for some hugely advanced End Base. Number 9. The Double Man Here's something unexpected, Sub. Oh yeah, this one will really catch the viewers off guard. You see, most entrances are expected to have some sort of hidden redstone component. Most entrances are triggered by one player either triggering a lever or using a button. There's so many ways to trigger a circuit, but what if one wasn't enough? Create your own base in the side of a cliff face. You know the deal when it comes to decorating. Make sure there's enough space to house a couple of people, because today, you're teaming up with Steve. I bet you never would have expected that this entrance would actually need two players to open, would you? Even if they found one, or even both redstone triggers, they're too far apart to both be activated by one person. The redstone awaits a pulse from both sides before continuing through the circuit to open the door. You and Steve putting your differences aside to share a secret together? Aww, how unexpected! Number 10. The Westward Snows We've mentioned this a few times before here on the channel, but the snow biomes of Minecraft don't actually have all that much to offer, except a sparse and open land with not very much to do. However, you can use this to your advantage. Find a random area and dig down below the snow. Create your base and a piston hatch that opens with a redstone pulse. You can trigger it how you wish, but it looks like you've chosen the pufferfish activation method. This means the door will only open if you come close and walk in the right direction. West in this case. Steve is such a pro that he thinks no player would be stupid enough to be caught dead in a snow biome with a hidden base, so the last thing he's gonna do is come looking. Would you be able to find any of Sub's hidden bases? Let us know in the comments. You never know, Sub. Maybe you can even improve a few of your designs. All of these unexpected secret entrances have really thrown Steve off your trail. Now he's really confused. Where will your next hidden entrance be? Somewhere expected? Somewhere unpredictable? I'm sure you're feeling pretty good about yourself, huh, Sub? As always, it's important to challenge yourself and always improve your building methods. Eventually, someone somewhere may just find your base, but if you keep on your toes and use your knowledge to your advantage, you can still survive.